welcome back to Sports Food and Shenanigans. It's been a while, but happy Memorial Day weekend. It is Friday, I'm done with work early, it's raining out, but I have a little video that I'm gonna show you. Uh, my mom makes some killer mac salad and it's super easy and it's really delicious. It's so good! Once it hits your lips, it's so good! I just got done boiling a pot of macaroni, elbows. I did one whole 16 ounce box and uh, let it just boil, like I said, on the box. It's gonna use for seven minutes. I'll drain this out. And once it's drained, I'll just add a little bit of uh, avocado oil to it so it doesn't bind up on me too much while I'm getting it ready. You kinda wanna cool off the noodles before you start adding stuff into it because you don't want it to kind of get all funky and weird and cook the veggies and stuff that you're gonna put in there. Um, so when you drain the hot water, fill it up with cold water, drain that, and should be all good. So I went ahead and I chopped up the green pepper and the red onion. Now you kind of want to do like a small, kind of like a small to a little bit medium sized red onion, you don't want too much, and a decent sized green pepper. And also I'm gonna do a bunch of shredded carrots. We're gonna use this whole thing of mayonnaise, and I know it sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's worth it. Some salt and garlic powder, and that's it. Pretty much wraps that up for right now. I used about half of a big jar of mayonnaise uh, at first. Uh, now what you want to do is uh, cover it and chill it in the fridge for at least four to six hours. Overnight for 24 hours is best. Chill. Um, the next day it's just incredible. But when you're done chilling it, take it out and you're gonna add the rest of the mayo because those noodles are gonna soak in that mayonnaise a lot. And when you open it up after chilling it for a while, it's going to look like there's not really that much mayonnaise in there at all. Um, like I said, it seems like a lot, but trust me, a whole jar of mayonnaise, it's going to be awesome. You're not going to be disappointed. Um, and if you are, I'm sorry. <laughs> so unfortunately, because of this stupid virus, there are no sports going on because everything in the world is canceled, um, at least for now. But in the meantime, uh, I found uh, a couple of good clips of uh, some unbelievable plays from the NFL, and I hope you enjoy them. Almost makes the interception that they play on the field as if he did. I thought it hit the ground. But Lamalo is still on his feet. He's able to shake free from three hits and still going. Now he falls on his own. Let's see if it's a pick. Unbelievable. What a catch. Wow. I don't know. Still not sure. He got his hand underneath there. Take another look. And they run it. Barber better be careful. They've got him in the end zone. Asani Samuel has a shot. Now Green, how does he escape? Unbelievable run by Marion Barber to save two points. Second and 13. Pick it under pressure. Puts it up deep, and oh, look there by Brandon Lloyd! An incredible catch! A one-handed leaping catch by Brandon Lloyd! This is one of the best catches you'll ever see, ever. 
is the running back. Play action. And Manning's going to heave one. Is, oh, there's a flag. Beckham a one-handed catch. How in the <laughs> world? Oh, my goodness. And Brandon Carr was back there. I mean, he is insane. How do you make that catch? Oh, my goodness. This is sick. Put this to music. I don't think he stepped out either. That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen. Defense number 39. Penalties declined. Result of the play. Touchdown. You have to be kidding me. That is impossible. Bob still has it. Throws into the end zone. It's intercepted by Ed Reed. He gets away from Cobb and he is still going down the sideline. Brett Selleck trying to cut him off. Reed needs one more block. He goes all the way. Touchdown. I think the fact that they're only down by 10 still gives them a little hope. They haven't been able to do anything and only down by 10 points. McDab throws. And the pass is almost picked up. It is picked up. Seahorn came up with it. Jason Seahorn is going to take it in. Now it's time for some shenanigans. Okay, so uh, with the mac salad, I actually had a little bit leftover uh, red onion. Um, the onion was just too big. It was like a medium-sized onion, um, and I, I chopped it all up. But unfortunately, I can't use it because it's, it's going to be way too many onions, and nobody likes things that's too oniony, if that's even the right word. So because of that, I had all that leftover. I just I hate wasting food. So, if I can get uh, more than one spoonful down, I'll be amazed. Plan B. A little shot of lime juice. I'm always full of good ideas. Some of the beer shot glasses that I have. Okay, that's enough. I don't care if it's full. I don't know if I can do this. <sighs> oh. Really kind of bitching out here. Now it tastes like lime meat, like lime onions. Oh. Sports food and shenanigans. <clears throat> Hope everyone has a good Memorial Day weekend. Hey guys, listen, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys send this stuff out to your friends or family and I hope you guys enjoy it. You know, we try and keep it as uh, PG as possible. Uh, we're not looking to go like jackass level type stuff. But listen, if you guys have any questions or anything else that you know that you want to talk to us about, send us a, an email. If you have any suggestions that, you know, as far as punishments or ideas or whatever it is you guys want to see, let us know. We'll take it under consideration. We may not do anything that crazy. Uh, we'll continue doing stuff as much as we can think of, and we'll do whatever it is we can to keep you guys entertained. And hopefully you guys enjoy it, because that's what we're doing this for.